Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to add the click to copy functionality for your website. Now this functionality is being used by a lot of different online tools. So here are some examples. Here I am in this website called coolers.co. And here if you go to the palettes, we can see that we have all these color palettes over here. And if I click on any of these colors, so if I click on this color right here, we can see that the color is copied. So in the same way, we can click on any of these colors over here. And the hex code of that color will be copied. So it makes it easier for the user to go ahead and paste it in their code editor. Now it is also being used in Font Awesome. So here we can see this is the download icon. And here we have this option called Copy HTML. And if I click on that, we can see that it is being copied to the clipboard. And then we can go ahead and paste it anywhere we want. And in the same way, we also have this functionality in cdnjs.com. Here we can see we have these links and if I click on any of these buttons, we can see that the link has been copied to the clipboard. And then we can go ahead and paste it in our code editor. Now in the same way, I'm also creating this simple tool over here. So we're going to create this border radius generator tool. So here we can see this is a simple tool which generates border radius code for a website. Here we have the option of adding the value. So I just type, let's say 24. And here we can see the border radius is being shown over here as well. And uh, we have the live demo of the border radius over here in this rectangle. And then we can click on this button called copy code. And we can see that the code is copied. Now the code has been generated and it has been copied to the clipboard. Now we can just go ahead and paste it anywhere we want. So I'll just create a file over here. I'll just name it style.css and I'll just press Control V to paste it. And here we can see we have the CSS code for border radius displayed over here and we have the correct border radius 24 pixels. If I just increase this and if I just set it to 30 pixels and if I click on copy and if I paste it over here we can see we have 30 pixels of border radius. Now we have set a limit of 100 pixels over here so if I just increase this and if I go to 100 pixels it won't go beyond that and we also have set the lower value to 0 and it won't go beyond that and we also have these increment and decrement buttons over here now if I type a value of greater than 100 pixels like for example if I type 150 pixels it will go back to 100 pixels and we also have the animation for error if I don't have any value over here and if I click on copy code it will by default take a value of 0. So if we go back and if I just paste it over here, we can see border radius of 0 pixels. Now this is just a simple tool where we have set the border radius of all the corners at once. Now you can go ahead and add more input fields over here and set the border radius of each of these corners separately and then just update the code to generate the border radius. Now in the same way you can go ahead and create a lot of different online tools. But the main focus of my video was to show you this click to copy functionality. Now I will split this video into two different parts. In the first video, we will just design this using HTML and CSS. And in the next video, I will show you how to add JavaScript and how to generate the code and also how to add the click to copy functionality. So let's get started. <laughs> Right here I have created this folder called click to copy and I just opened it with VS code. So let's go ahead and create all the necessary files. So let's click on new file and we'll create an HTML file. So I'll just name it index.html and we also need to have a CSS file. So let's create a new file and I'll just name it style.css and we also need to have a JavaScript file. I'll just name it main.js. Alright, let's start with the index.html file. Now in VS code you have this shortcut where you can just press exclamation and press tab and you will have this HTML5 code. So let's link our CSS file over here. So I'll just type link and press tab. And in the href, I'll just type style.css. And here in the body, I'll just link the JavaScript file. So I'll just type script, colon src and press tab. And here I'll just type main.js. Right now, let's create a division with a class of click to copy to contain everything. So I'll just create a division with a class of click to copy. And in that, first of all, we need to have this heading. So I'll just create an h2. And I'll just type generate border radius. And then we need to have this label and this input field. So let's create a label over here. And uh, in the for, I'll just type border radius input. And here we need to type enter a number. 
And the next thing we need to have is an input field. So let's create an input field. And for the type, I'll just set it to number. And we'll also have an ID over here. We'll copy the same thing from here. So I'll just copy this. We need to have a T over here as well. And I'll just paste it over here. Now we need to have some more attributes over here. We need to have a min value. So I'll just type min equals and the minimum value should be zero. And the maximum value should be 100. And the default value will be zero. All right, that's it with the input field. Now let's add this element over here to show the border radius. So I'll just create a division with a class of box. And then we need to have this button to copy the code. So let's create a button and we'll give it a class of copy button. And here I'll just type copy code. And then lastly, we need to have a toast notification. So if I click on this button, we can see we have this notification. So let's create that. So I'll just create a division with a class of toast notification. And in that I'll just type code copied. All right, that's it with the HTML. Now let's add the CSS. So let's go to a style.css file. And uh, before that, let me just open this in the browser. So I have this extension called live server installed in VS code. So you can just install this and you can just right click over here in the HTML and then click on open with live server. All right, now let's start styling this. So first of all, I'll just add some styles to the body. So I'll just have body and we'll set the margin to zero. And we'll also set a background color of F1 F A E E. Now let's style the click to copy division. So I'll just type dot click to copy. And we'll set the height to 100 viewport height and the width to 100%. And we'll also set the font family to Roboto. And sans serif. And I'll just set the display to flex and align items to the center. And we also need to set the flex direction to column so that all the elements will be one below the other. Now let's set the color of all the text to 1D3557. Now let's style the H2. So let's type click to copy H2. And let's set the font family to Roboto Black. And I will set the font size to 40 pixels. And we will have a margin bottom of 20 pixels. And uh, we'll also have a border bottom. So let's type border bottom of 1 pixel solid RGBA 0, 0, 0 and 0 0.2. We'll also have a padding bottom. So let's type padding bottom and we'll just set it to 16 pixels. All right, that's it with the S2. Now let's style the label. So let's type click to copy label and we'll set the font size to 18 pixels. Now let's style the input field. So let's type click to copy input and we will set the font size of the input to 48 pixels. We'll set the text align to center and we'll set the font weight to bold. We'll also add a margin top of 16 pixels. And let's set a padding of 8 pixels top and bottom and 16 pixels left and right. And we'll also set the width to 140 pixels. We'll set the border radius to 8 pixels. And we'll also set the border to 2 pixel solid. And we'll set the color to this dark color over here. Now when we click inside this input field, we have a black outline. I think you cannot see it clearly. So if I just remove this border from here and if I click over here, we can see that we have a dark outline. So we'll remove that as well. So I'll just uncomment this and uh, here we'll just type click to copy input colon focus. And here we'll just type outline and we'll just set it to none. All right now let's style the box. So let's type click to copy box. And we'll just set the height to 120 pixels and we'll just set the width to let's say 400 pixels and let's add a background color and we'll just set the color to E63946 and let's also set the margin to 24 pixels. All right now let's style the copy button so I'll just type click to copy copy btn and we will set a padding of 8 pixels top and bottom and 32 pixels left and right. And uh, we will set the border to zero and we will add a background color of the dark color over here. And we'll set the color of the text to white. Let's set the cursor to pointer so that when we hover over this, we have this pointer. And uh, we'll also change the font size and we'll set it to 18 pixels. 
let's set the text transform to uppercase so that's our button I think we can increase the padding a little bit so I'll just type 12 pixels or that looks all right all right now the last thing we need to style is this toast notification so let's type click to copy toast notification and first of all let's set the position to fixed so that it will always be at the bottom and we'll set the bottom position to 40 pixels and we'll set the background color to black or dark gray and let's set the color of the text to white and we'll set the padding to 8 pixels top and bottom and 32 pixels left and right and we'll also have a border radius of 8 pixels or let's just change it to 4 pixels and that looks alright and that's it with the design of our page now in the next video I'll show you how to add JavaScript and make all the functionality work so we will add the functionality to generate the CSS code and also copy the code to clipboard so that the users can paste it anywhere they want alright so that's it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day Oh, <laughs>